all right guys welcome back welcome back after a long time start this video with my little garden in front here actually my wife's garden in front here um we have some elephant ears plant and it's so nice i just said let me show you guys real quick because we planted like four bulbs and there are different types of elephant ears in here as you can see the leaves are different from that one right one shoots up one goes down anyway that's it for the little front here but got a couple updates here and the reason why i'm doing my video so late is because the glare is horrendous in the daytime when the sun's out All right now it's about six o'clock and we get good footage of these guys here little little glare with the door but it's not bad anyways uh this is the 405 gallon to be exact pentair pond that i uh have for i want to say probably two years now something like that no year and a half but uh no two years but this is it it's six in, inside dimensions six foot long three foot back to front and three foot high with uh i think it's a five foot or a little more than five foot and a little more than three foot or uh, two foot tall view and acrylic panel and uh a couple little updates well, a couple of little different things from the last time i show you guys this tank for one we have our we have three new datnoids in here i think i showed you guys i had rescued these uh albino tin fall barbs and if you guys remember let me get down there sorry for the glare guys you guys remember my little itty bitty giant garami that was in my 75 gallon tank upstairs currently that tank has um the electric eel my three foot electric eel just under three foot it's uh 35 and a half inches but this is all well this is not all i have in this tank i have a couple of other fish in this tank but they're always hiding uh i have a giant giraffe nose catfish that's the tail right in the back oh, there we go a little piece of it all right he's normally hiding underneath there i have a eight inch uh eclipse catfish or commonly known as sun catfish and some uh, I think three or four pick the catfish let me see if I can get that there right there boom all right but that's it for this oh no I'm sorry I have a I have a Adonis pleco on the bottom there also my feet <laughs> uh, but right there on the bottom right there an Adonis pleco but uh I did a water change yesterday and this is why the tank is looking so crystal clear it normally is normally not this crystal clear obviously but um there's basically the stock update Ooh, you got in a fight with somebody but these guys these i'm not gonna lie man these are giant garamis they were so small when i got them probably inch and a half two inches the most and right now my biggest guy in here is probably this guy in front here He's probably like four inches, four and a half, something like that. And there's a small runt in here, right there. He's about three inches. But yeah, I have these uh, datnoids, the three datnoids. They're actually starving right now. Um, I haven't fed them uh, today as yet, but uh, I normally feed every other day now just because I see that they uh, slow down on eating because, you know, winter is approaching but uh this is basically it so far guys the update on the 400 gallon uh everything is the same i feed the massive or sinking pellets you know every other day uh, and tilapia but the filtration is still the same i still haven't touched this tank as yet you know i'm i've, I've been so busy guys with work and uh vacations and and and, and uh, the the summer parties and everything that comes with summer you know so i really didn't get a chance and this tank's been sitting here for almost two years or probably more than two years it's been sitting here but i know it's a solid tank i just haven't gotten around to it as yet my filtering still my filtration system is still the same nothing changed uh i took off my i took off my um my ink bird because uh it went it went bad man i don't know why but after two years of owning an ink bird these things go bad I don't know why but it does but uh my filtration is still the same 
Uh, I took, I had a pH meter here, right there. I took that off also. But um, I don't need that with the fish that I have right now. But everything is working perfectly fine, as it should, you know. And um, I actually brought to my wife's plant inside here just because it's getting cold at night. And I don't want them to die out. So I want to see if this actually uh, would stay here uh, in doing winter time. Um, let's see how that goes. But uh, I'm going to toss some food in here, see if these guys eat. Pretty sure they're not going to eat today just because... They're not a, a fan of the uh, massive ore sinking pellets, but I'm still gonna give them some because, you know, I try to give them a balanced diet of uh, massive ore sinking pellets and uh, tilapia, chopped up tilapia. Once in a while, I'll give them shrimp and some um, some earthworms that I find uh, lingering about the place. Whenever I do my water change, for some reason, the earthworms, they come up. They don't like the water, so they come up and I need my daughter normally grab them and toss them in here. But, um. This is basically it guys. Let me uh, get on with this feeding. I uh, highly doubt that they're gonna eat that much. So I'm not even gonna show you guys them eating um, anything right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna show you guys the pond in the backyard and my little garden that's, you know, that's dying out because yeah, winter is approaching. But let me get on it guys. Uh, I'll probably do like a nice tilapia feeding video one day for you guys so you can see them actually eat a lot of food. But for now, you know, uh, hang tight, give me two seconds. Uh, I'm gonna show you the, the back. All right, guys, this is the beginning of my little garden that we have back here. All right, there, like I said, the plants are, uh, they're dying out, but um, what can you do, you know? We're in New York here and winter's approaching. At night, like I said, it gets cold, so these plants are gonna die out. But uh, we have some, <laughs> some eggplants and stuff. Bunch of stuff, man. Uh, sweet peppers, they're growing over there. You know, um, I think that's some beans, some type of beans. I don't know what they call it here. But we have a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff all over the place. <laughs> but uh, let me get over here to my pond so I can show you guys. I have this guy here, too. He's dying out. Got this 100-gallon tank. I got to get to it. I don't know what I'm going to do as yet, but it's been sitting out here for about a year now. Oh, man, I got okra. Well, okra. But some people call them okra over here. You gotta get these seeds for next year or whatever. These plants, these plants are supposed to be looking nice, man. But let me show you what the rain, how it looks here with the rain, man. This is supposed to have been nice and green, luscious like that. But look, look what the, the rain does. It makes the white, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know. It, it, it's just getting worse and worse every time it rains here in New York. Ah horrible but um have some more plants over here guys uh if you guys want more in-depth video on my plants let definitely let me know uh this is my 130 gallon uh pond back out here and i have a couple of koi a couple of koi i have in here my little filtration system and the water it's full of algae i didn't put a uv on this but uh it works for the most part um let me try to get some food here i'll put this camera down for a second Try to get some food and I'll see if they come up. Oh, there we go. Some of them. Hold on, guys. Put that down for a second. I'm gonna grab. Ooh, grab some fish food. I'm gonna toss it in here and then I'll come back and show you guys. Come back and show you guys what what they do. They don't go crazy for food. But you can see some of them coming up there. Ooh, bad glare. Sorry, guys. There we go. Some of them coming up right here. I think I have like four or five koi's in here. Beautiful. Beautiful koi, man. I, I, I just love them. But I think next year I'm going to put on a UV here so the water could be a little bit more crystal clear. So we could actually see the fish on the bottom swimming normally. You know? look at that so it's so, such so, so a beautiful I, I love i love being back here i really do it's such nice it's such a nice um feeling you get back here when you sit here you know with the whole plants over here it looks so beautiful man well, for me it does you know some people don't like that but that's my thing me and my family we love it but uh don't worry as soon as i leave they'll demolish this uh 
but they'll be good anyway guys um this is all i got for you guys today until next time peace